How's everybody doing? Good, good. First, I want to say thank you, Darlene, for coming into my life. I came across Darlene online. I know it was because of Sharice. I've met many women in business because of Sharice, either directly or indirectly. And I'll look on my friends pages and I'll be like, I know that person. And I'll click, yeah, Sharice friend. That's how I know them. And that's how I got to know Darlene. And I got to know what she was doing. And I liked what she was doing. And I said, let me hitch my wagon to this star right here. So thank you, Darlene, for having me today. All right. What do you want? I'm going to ask that question again. What do you want? Now, there's a lot of answers to that question. A lot of you here are entrepreneurs. You want certain things for your business. But if I just start getting some hands up right now, what do you want? Throw up your hand. Tell me. What do you want? Yes. Million dollars. Oh, billion dollars. <laughs> billion. Okay. All right. Anyone else? Yes. Okay. All right. All right. Good. Yes. Financial freedom and independence. Going to come back to that. What else? Balance. Yes. Balance. Balance. Time management. Peace. Interesting. Yes. Okay. All right. We got a several different things. Now, my next question is why? A lot of people will say what they want. Oh, I want to be a big businessman. I want a billion dollars. And I'm not saying you don't know your why. But the why is important. Because the why is what makes you get up in the morning and do what you need to do to get to where you need to go. Despite the fact that your boss is going to be waiting there at the office going, and you got that friend, so-called, in your life that is sucking the soul out of you because they need something constantly. Or you got that family member that you just wish, oh, God, I wish I could select my family. But you just can't. We face a lot of obstacles. And um, I wrote this down because I wanted to refer back to it. When Stacy was up here, she said, action, action, despite distraction. That distraction is those obstacles. And I like to call that clutter. And clutter comes in many forms. Let me tell you. Clutter can be not just a pile of stuff in a room. And some of us have that. I've had it. I have it right now. Because yesterday, I moved in all that rain. And I got a house full of boxes right now. Got a nice new home. I love it. So I'm grateful. But it's cluttered right now. I have, to, I have to straighten that up. Other people might have clutter with their time. I spoke to a couple of people here today when I was networking, going around. And they got so much going on. How many of you, by show of hands, feel like you're being pulled in a hundred different directions. Okay. By a show of hands, now this is the one to think about. How many of you, when you were knee-high to a duck, saw your life being a certain way today and your life is not that way? Yep. It happens. Why is that? People don't just fall into success by accident. You need a plan. 
You need something that's going to be a blueprint to get you from where you are today to where you are tomorrow. See, a lot of people can sit around and they can dream about being a success. See, losers sit around and daydream and wish. Winners envision and put a plan of action into effect. But when your life is filled with clutter, you really can't function at your best, can you? How many of you like to go away on vacation by a show of hands? When you put your key card into that door and open that room, what do you see? Peace. Serenity. I like that. Peace and serenity. Now, you go there for peace and serenity because you're not getting that at home. Obviously, I'm not saying that your home is necessarily bad, but you go away for peace and serenity. And when you open that door, you expect to see a nice, neat room, nicely arranged. And when you walk in there, imagine right now, just imagine right now, think about your best vacation you ever had or the one that you want to take, that dream vacation. How does it make you feel? You feel that washing over you right now? Why can't you have that every day? It's within your power. But we let the minutia of everyday life get in our way and block us from getting to where we need to be. When you walk down the street in Manhattan on any given day, you know how many millionaires you pass? You, you <laughs> yeah, they're wearing beat up jeans, they're wearing t-shirts. I used to sell cars. i never forget this one day. Guy came in and see car salesmen, some selfish beasts, I'm going to tell you that right now. They like to pick and choose who they work with. And if you come in there in beat up jeans looking tired and, and unable, they don't want you. So one day this guy came in and they was like, I got to go check my, I went and helped that person. He ended up buying two cars, cash, cash. Now at some point he must have been able to put a plan of action into, in, into effect to be able to do that sort of thing. He didn't just stumble into that. You know, there are, there are people in this world who are born into money. One of them is sitting in the White House right now. And then there are other people who are born into nothing, dirt poor, struggle, and they get to where they need to be because they have a burning desire that why? This is why I'm doing this thing. This is why I'm getting up. This is why I'm going to make it happen. Because it can be either your children. It can be uh, your spouse. It could be your parents. Any number of things. It can even be your ego. Maybe you just want to accomplish something and feel good about it. You just want to say, I brought this to birth. When there was nothing, I caused this to be. What I help you do is discover that why, put a plan of action into effect, a blueprint, if you will, and over the course of 90 days, help you go get it. Now, whatever that is, it could be a business, it could be money, it could be relationships, a career move, but you have to identify your why. Now, one of the things I do is something I call visioneering. Maybe I should trademark that. Now. I better. Hashtag visioneering. So I will take you and we will sit and we will discuss what it is you want and you will begin to 
envision that thing, that state of being, at the ultimate end. And then what we're going to do is we're going to reverse engineer that. We're going to break it down bit by bit, step back in time, back in time, back in time, until we reach the present, until you get to the little steps. Because there's a saying, right? How do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. What'd you say to me? <laughs> Start with the trunk, right? Whatever, whatever. So when you break it down in the steps and you have a plan, you get up and you do it. Because so many of us don't act because we just don't know what to do. How many times have you had a great idea and you got all excited about it? You ran off and you told your friends, and you like, I'm going to be a millionaire. I'm going to change the world. Blah, blah, blah. And then tomorrow when you woke up, you were like, uh, okay, now what now? What now? If you're an entrepreneur, you've been there. Before you reach any level of success, you've been there. I have to be careful what I say around my wife because if I say anything, the first words out of her mouth, make it happen. And then I'm sitting there and I'm like, man, just put me on blast right here and just make it happen. But when you have something within you, you have a duty to bring you to the world. You have a duty to bring you to the world because you have something of value to offer to people. And it is a crime if you decide to sit down and not bring that value to the world. It is a crime if you do not raise up your children behind you by bringing that value to the world and teaching them that they have something of value to bring to the world. So, knowing that we all have these things that we want and these things that we desire, what's the steps? Well, I have a coach. You will find that successful people use a coach. Does Serena Williams practice with her sister? Who does she practice with? Her coach. If you want to get better at anything, you need a coach. And coaches cost money. I made a decision at the end of last year to reach in my pocket and get a coach. And it cost me money. But you know what? Getting that coach opened my mind up to different things, ways of moving, and it led me to Darlene. And it led me other places. And it caused me to finally press play on my book and get it out there and do things. So... I love the idea of having a coach. I know that in my course of time working with people, I, I, there's just a synergy that happens when you're working with another person. And you feed off that person, that person feeds off you, and there's another element there called accountability. Because when you have an accountability partner, you don't want to come to that person at the end of the week or the end of whatever time and say, I didn't do it. Nope. So those are things that you incorporate into your life. Now, the first thing you have to do, though, is take care of you. And I want to leave you with this little thing right here that um, it's a little acronym. I'm going to trademark this one, too. All right, I got you. All right. And it's pre-plans with two E's. I'd like you to just write write down, down. it's an acronym, so write down on a piece of paper, pre-plans, P-R-E-E. P-L-A-N-S. The first P stands for prioritize. You have to decide what is most important in your life. Is it your family? Is it your religion? Is it your job? Is it whatever? We cast no judgments. That is the thing that is most important to you. Once you decide what that thing is, you need to make your decisions in life fall in complete harmony with those things. Because if you do not, you are not living your life in truth. And when you're not living your life in truth, 
you're not going to be successful. You'll be living a lie. Now, the R stands for relax. You need to take time. You see these ladies over here with the massage therapy? I love that. They come to you. Take time to take care of yourself like that. Relax. It recharges your body. You know, the, the, um, the Bible mentions that there's joy to be had in a little wine, right? Relax. Enjoy. Recreation is something that God put in us to be an integral part of ourselves. If we neglect it, we become no good. The first E stands for exercise. You got to be healthy. And then that next E after that is eat. So exercise, eating, proper diet, those things go together. We had a young lady over here that was in uh, nutrition. That's five links, right? Christine, yeah, I remember talking to you. So here's someone right here who can help you with that. Pass, P stands for pass. There was someone here who mentioned, I forgot who it was now, that you need to, it was that first lady that was here, right? Odoms. And she said, you need to delegate. And when I'm working with people, you know who I have the most problems getting to delegate? Women. I'm going to tell you why. Women are the martyrs of the world. You know it. You will sacrifice yourself in a flaming fire for the good of those around you. And you'll pick this up off the floor and you'll cook this for that person and you'll run here and take this person there and do that. If they can do it, let them do it. If you can delegate it to someone else, let them do it. Because if you spend your time trying to be all things to everyone, you'll end up being no good to anyone. L stands for lockout. Let me explain what that means. When you, need, when you know you need to be doing something that you need to be doing, you need to lock out the world. So you put a little reminder in your calendar, you do it in your phone, whatever the case may be. But when you're supposed to be making calls to prospects to build your business from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m., that is what you need to be doing. You don't Facebook. You don't take calls from other people. You don't keep checking your email. That's what you need to be doing. That's what I mean by lockout. That's where you get that focus. A, assess. How important is it? Whenever you decide to take on a task, ask yourself, is what I'm doing today going to get me to where I want to be tomorrow? That is probably the most essential question any entrepreneur can ask themselves. Is what I'm doing today going to get me to where I am tomorrow? For everyone who's here, I can tell you right now that answer is yes. Because you are investing in yourself and your future. The N stands for no. No is probably the most liberating word in the English language. Can you take note? Can you lend me? Nope. Can you cook? Nope. I need you to work a little. Nope. You remember that, that movie Office, Office Space? And the boss would be like, I'm going to go ahead and need you to have to come in tomorrow. No. No, 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 no. It's a word, use it. And the S at the end stands for sleep. You need to be getting your sleep. There are some people who will tell you when you're on your grind, you don't have time to sleep, you can't afford it, you got to stay up. And yeah, there's, there's a place for that. But if that's all you're doing, your life is out of balance at that point. So you really need to schedule in sleep. If you really need to schedule in sleep, then that's what you need to do. No, I'm going to bed at 11 o'clock. I'm going to bed at 10 o'clock, whatever, based on whatever time you have to rise in the morning to meet your obligations. Those are the things that you should be doing. 
So I share that with you because those are ways that you take care of yourself and you keep yourself focused and on track to accomplishing your goals and dreams. Now, one of the things that keeps us from getting to those goals and dreams, though, is procrastination. How many of you in here have ever suffered from procrastination? I have. I still struggle with it every day. There's things I know I need to do that I will put off. But when you write it down and you have it scheduled in and you have that accountability partner and you have that coach, you have those plans, you get amazing things accomplished. I've gotten so many things accomplished since I started actually doing that that it, it just boggles my mind. Sometimes I'm doing something I don't really want to do. If you think that being successful and being an entrepreneur is bouncing out of bed every day and being happy about everything you have to do, you need to pack up right now, go downtown, and apply for the post office, sanitation, <laughs> fire department. They're hiring. This right here is work. And that's what you need to do. You need to put in that work. So... I will leave you with this. I'd like everybody to stand up right now. We're just going to engage in a little exercise. And I didn't believe in this until I actually read about it, a scientific study. There was a woman who did a study, and she found out that, you know, when you're a little kid, you run around and you do stuff. You ever tie a cape around you or you see your brother, if you're a woman, do it or something like that. I want you to take your hands right now and do this. Put it on your hips. When you wake up every day, I want you to go stand in the mirror and hold that pose for two minutes. That pose actually releases endorphins into your brain and chemicals that help you become stronger in your decision making and confidence. You hold that pose for two minutes, you will see amazing things happen. That is called the superhero pose. And if you do that every day, you will become your own superhero.